Welcome to Health and Care. My name is Paul, and today I'm talking about this, the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer. So, first of all, I'm going to talk about what the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer is used for. Then I'm going to talk about a few of the features of the sling, including what it's made from and how to wash it. And finally, I'm going to show you how to measure your arm to get the right size sling, and I'll be putting the sling on, showing you from scratch how to put the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer on your arm and around your waist. The ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer is a durable, hard-wearing, and also very comfortable shoulder immobilizer. It's designed to prevent shoulder rotation, so it supports and immobilizes the shoulder joint and the elbow joint, but always consult a medical practitioner to ensure you've got the right sling for your particular injury. So, let's talk about the main features of the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer. As you can see from the colour of the sling, it's black. Now this may sound silly, but it's incredibly difficult to find a black sling anywhere. So it makes the, uh, the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer ideal for work and also those smart occasions. As you can see from the design of the sling, it's a deep pocket arm immobilization sling. My arm is resting in there, it's very comfortable indeed, and the polycotton material means that it's breathable, it's comfortable and it's very durable. There are two main straps on the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer. The first strap is this, which is the shoulder strap, and the second strap is this, which is just going around my waist, and that's the immobilization strap. That keeps the arm close to the body. Both straps have got Velcro all the way across them. The shoulder strap has got an additional pad just here for comfort, so it makes it ideal to rest on the neck or the shoulder for long periods of time. You can easily adjust both of these straps, that's the great thing. So they've got Velcro here and all I need to do is just undo it and I can change the elevation of the arm at the drop of a hat. It's very straightforward. The same is true of the waist immobilization strap, just here. Washing the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer couldn't be easier. Simply hand wash in mild soapy water and then rinse thoroughly and air dry. It's as simple as that. So, I've taken the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobilizer off my arm to show you two things. The first thing is how to measure your arm to get the right size sling for you. And the second thing is how to put the sling on from scratch. Now that's gonna be the tricky bit, so let's do the easy part first. The measurement that you need to take is from the tip of your elbow to the base of your little finger. That's the crucial measurement. Then you need to go to our website, which is www.healthandcare.co.uk and compare your size to the sizing table on the sling page. This will give you the right size sling for your requirements. When the sling arrives with you, it comes in three main parts. The first part is the envelope, and this is where your arm is going to be resting when you're wearing the sling. I'm going to be showing you how to put the sling on on your left arm today, but if you're putting the sling on on your right arm, simply switch the envelope round and follow the same instructions. The other parts that you'll receive are the straps. The first strap is the waist strap. Now this is a very simple strap, it's got Velcro on one side and it's smooth on the other. There's another strap which is the shoulder strap, and you can tell the difference between the two straps because this strap has got a pad on it, and this is the neck pad or the shoulder pad that's going to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're wearing the sling. The best way I've found of putting the sling together is to start with the waist strap first and then work on the shoulder strap, and I'll demonstrate how to do that right now. First of all, take the envelope as you're going to be wearing it. So I'm wearing it on my left arm today, and that means that the rings are going to be closer to my wrist, and the strain shape clips are going to be closer to my elbow. And I'm going to attach, first of all, the uh, waist immobilization strap to the lower of these two clips. So I'm going to take the waist immobilization strap first, and the best thing to do is have the strap so that the Velcro is facing the sky. That way, when you have the, uh, the, the sling or the envelope arranged like this, and you're putting it through this clip just here, the second clip, the lower clip, and the Velcro is facing the sky, you can simply thread it through with the bowed side up facing the sky as well. So you've got Velcro to the sky and this element here facing the sky too, and just thread that through that clip, and then back it over on itself, and it will stick because the whole thing's Velcro. And as you can see, that's now attached and it's very secure. I then put on the shoulder strap. Now the shoulder strap should be put on with, once again, the clip facing the sky and Velcro, once again, facing the sky. And you're, the way that you're threading it is not uh, that way so kind of towards the arm, but you're threading it away from your elbow to the left in, in this case. So I'm going to thread that straight through. And the reason for that 
and then doubling it back on itself. And the reason for that is I don't want the Velcro on the inside, I don't want it facing my body. Uh, it should be on the outside facing away from my body so that uh, the when I'm adjusting the strap at the other end, um, it will stick to the Velcro and it'll be very easy to, to modify the elevation of the arm. So now we've got the envelope just like that with the first strap going up to the sky, that's going to be the shoulder strap, and this strap just here going out to the side. I'm then going to take the ring in one hand, in my right hand, and I'm going to thread my hand through the gap in the sling. And this is the gap at the other end of the sling. And the best way that I've found to, uh, to, hold the position, to hold the sling in place when I'm doing this is to just use my thumb to hold the ring up to my chest. Now that enables the other arm, which is free and probably not injured, to just bring up the envelope onto the elbow, just like that. And then you can bring the strap across your shoulder and down by your chest. So the strap is now across the shoulder and I'm going to thread this strap through this ring just here. So this is the top ring and the strap is going straight through. And you just double the Velcro back on itself like that and that's nice and secure. So as you can see the sling is now starting to take shape. I've now got the a mobilization strap hanging loose and this needs to be now brought round my waist. It's going to take a little bit of skill to, to do that but if you reach round you can bring it around the back of your waist like a belt. There's another round plastic ring just there by the wrist and that's free so I'm just going to thread that straight through there and once again just double it back on itself and stick it with the velcro. As you can see the sling is really taking shape now. There's a thumb loop which I would use to put my thumb straight through and then I would adjust the sling just to make sure that there's no gathering of the material. As you can see it really has taken shape now. To change the elevation of the sling simply undo the velcro and reattach it anywhere uh, on, the, uh, on the strap and also the waist strap is a little bit loose so I'm just going to tighten it. And I'm going to turn around to show you what it looks like from behind now. So we've got a strap going across the shoulder just like that and the immobilization strap going around from the elbow around the back of the waist to the front near my wrist. The sling is now in place and it's very comfortable. The ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobiliser is available to purchase on our website www.healthandcare.co.uk I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video about the ProCare Clinical Shoulder Immobiliser. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful videos and content. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.